Ja, men då är ni välkomna hit till Globala torget på bokmässan i Göteborg där vi ska dra igång den näst sista programpunkten för den här bokmässan. Och jag lovar det här kommer att bli jättebra. We will going to see uh, the he hear my voice the poetry group. I saw them last night and and it was absolutely amazing. And now there will be just a short presentation. But uh, I'm sure you will like it. So please up, come up to the stage and give us a taste of this of your program. Um, thank you so much for that. Uh, my name is Pomolo Sakamoto, one third of Hear My Voice. And I am pleased that we have the cream of the crop in terms of uh, the poets in South Africa. And I would like to introduce you to an award-winning poet, um, amazing, amazing, amazing poet. Can you please help me welcome on stage Sipoka Zijonas. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm seeing some faces again. Um, I just want to share this poem in honor of a woman and all the women in history have been written out of history whose contributions have not been seen, whose contributions have not been acknowledged. Um, and in particular, this is for a South African woman called Nogotel Amdima, who was one of the co-founders of the first um, African school in Southern Africa, um, founder of a newspaper. But if you go to the school that she co-founded and the newspaper, there's no acknowledgement of the role that she played. So this is for her. We turn the body of the river back. We cast the story into the tide of history. A name floats out of the water. She pours herself out onto the river bank. There is a flood. We are not safe. We must drown to listen. She does not want to be saved. She wants to be seen. There is baptism in submersion and new names in resurrection, but first the sin must be confessed. We have forgotten Unogutela and many others. So we write to repent. There is salt in the water. We remember by singing, singing from the shallow into the deep where the river brings the water back from the sea into our mouths. She pours herself out in a song. The melody carries the river back from the sea into our mouths. We are crying and we do not care to know why, but there is salt in the water. She is thirsty. We remember her and we are all quenched. We called for you in the valley of Inanda. We have come to see Unogutela Mdima, but the gates did not answer. We called again louder. We are women. We know what it is not to be heard until you have repeated yourself or stripped and screamed and burned. We shouted until the syllables of your name rumbled through the trees, echoed the refrain down the same pathways where you pursued scriptures and new ways of living between tradition and new religion. We called to the rocks to remember the songs you composed in your head before you could transcribe them on a page and on key. We call to the living to remember you before a man converted your name inherited from another man with his. Before your display across the oceans under a missionary name, we came to see you. But the air was heavy with forgetting. The walls and windows whitewashed, records revised and written out as if you were never here, blazing eyes and a mind training to solve the world something new. Perhaps history is not made on the end of a needle and thread. Or history is not made in the kitchen or under a broom and garden spade. Perhaps history is not made in the places where girls and women spend their lives making the things we cannot live without. Perhaps practicing to play house and mothering dolls then never having children makes Nogutela a bad wife. See, women must secure their memory through their wombs and their husbands or be forgotten. Women only support and nurture the men who shape history, never build it or make it for themselves, hardly exist until married or die alone if divorced while their husbands are sanitized into sainthood. Perhaps history and truth do not mean the same thing. 
Perhaps memory is framing and we must make our own. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that is Sipoka Zijonas. Um, she's on social media, Sipoka Zijonas, and the spelling is right behind me. She has an incredible film that's out, Making the Rounds, and yeah, please do check her out. Um, I think music and rhythm is an important part of how we write poetry, and the next individual is going to take you on that journey. So some of you might have already seen him. He performed with a choir at the uh, book fair by night. If you have not, uh, you're in for a treat. Can you please help me welcome on stage Modise Sikhote. Good, uh, what is it, afternoon? <laughs> it's been hard to keep track. Um, uh, I think I'll do a love poem. I'll see. <clears throat> the first time I saw a flawed mirror was when I saw myself for the first time. Everything was exactly the same, except it was all somewhat turned on its side. Each feature looked vaguely familiar, but didn't quite look like mine. There was something lighter in its demeanor. As though each movement came dunked in the divine, nothing blinded me from seeing her. It was then that I knew that there was someone else inside. Someone not quite else, but somehow othered from my ribs design, separated from me by a glass wall, painted silver on one side for my other self to hide. There was a treasure traced in common origins, origami folds of the map untangled slowly before I could find a salamander spirit mimicked from the same clay that formed my kind. I saw her climb ride out of the mirror and stroll along the pines. I followed her for centuries until I grew a voice to speak to her shine. I said, hi, how are you? She said, I'm fine. And I was beside myself. I walked beside myself and spoke of stealing spines the back of books that built my world and coaxed my spirit into rhyme. She seemed to think me kind. I spoke in chimney smoke, for my heart sparked into a million fires. It wasn't just butterflies in my stomach, it was dragons spitting flames of molten lava pyres. I would almost explode if it wasn't for the cool her eyes inspired. A reverie transpired in which I kissed her with my lisp as I spoke in tongues to tie myself to her throat and speak inside her to elope our speech and pry her until I could jump inside where I would sit and see the tire that drove her in my direction from where her heart resides. The lotus seed of our dire destiny that tells a tale of putting soul back together at the meeting of the right female and male, mailed from a mirror, messaged from a mirage, drinking at the enchanting waters reflected on our facade, I never knew I'd find myself in a mirror. I knocked on many until they broke into pieces, falling into Fibonacci spirals, crushing every promise of a once imagined unity. Every calculation said that my chances of meeting her were from zero to negative infinity. And so I stopped looking. I just stared into the mirror hoping that I'd one day see myself as complete despite the imagery. But it was when I stopped looking that I saw my reflection moving. It was when we met that matter failed to fool me. When I saw that separate skin was an elaborate stint to confuse me. But I knew I had found myself. So I spoke to her eventually. And she sang back to me. She sang of all the things I always told myself were imaginary. 
We spoke of spines and how they helped her stand in times of tragedy. I told some lies to bulge her eyes and keep her from looking away from me and eventually walking away. She walks like she dances. She talks like a children's song. I stalked her in advances and missed some chances to dance along. But on one morning upon our glances, I turned around and walked to where I belong, beside her. Time stretched between then and the next time, but I knew I'd once again find her. And when I did, we dived into each other and found ourselves in one another. We wondered how it was possible that you could find yourself incepted in another. I remember the first time I kissed her. She asked me to because I was too shy. But I remember how it all changed, how our lips meeting somehow changed the sky. I stood there, watching the newness of everything. Beside her, there was nothing else beside her. There was nothing else besides her. She was by herself, standing alone, thinking about the flawed mirror the image that stared back at her, the mirror that made her avatar. But we no longer stand. We were so together it started to feel alone. Some weather the storms. We would storm the weather from our sacred homes where we had furnished our fairy tale with the feathers of a phoenix whose flames are fashioned by a silent fire, flavored by its feelings. Thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mutisa Sekhote. The name is right behind me. Uh, if you did not hear the music and the poetry, there is music online. Please do search him. Uh, he has, I think, two albums out, and yeah, please do yourself a favor. Uh, the next individual that I'm about to bring up keeps with the theme of rhythm and music, so please uh, put your hands together for the incredible Sabelo Soko. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, where I come from, when somebody says hi, you say hi back. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sabelo Sogo, as already mentioned. I write in Isizulu with touches of Isiswati here and there because I come from a province called Mpumalanga, which is where those languages actually intersect. Um, I will do a piece of a project that I have out at the moment titled Spinvenek, which is basically a radio concept. The piece that I'm going to do is an adaptation from a poem written by Johnny Dimba. It's basically a poem I grew up listening to on the radio at home because my mother would play the radio all the time. Msagas. Angigu chwaele ugutamela umsagazo. Gepa gunente te namlange. Magen okele loma ibute o sagazayo. Gizizwele matupa. Yi ni le tonsangisho nabantu babambeke. Sengendes kati gibanjwe yi nomfi namingi chubale. Izinkalo ngezifengo ngizilamele Ngape manga kolwa izi shonono za maka manesineke Ngapambi goguba ulkoke ushelo lwa kumsagazi Ngapambi goguba ngilinishe impilo lelila shel na manomfi Ngapambi goguba nkumu geglo maibute osagazayo Ngelungtate ngamehlengo 
unkibez umkwa o tela wa yega yega unga yempo pome ni pega wanya maga ipe. Guti la pimpu malangi sizi teleko na matambo. No so mategi si sebe ishayeba shinchi selana ngohambo. Besu kupuga nge carnival city. Ngo bese ngi hai ngigiti ya lulu hambo. Ngo tinges paga paga sentli zio ipaguza pez kwefu lezinyun. Ngivu mele gitonze gatimba nkwage. Mshasim ben guzwanga pagati gunga finyelela ezin zuluini zalota andolungaga. Ngobangi babonile o baba be mizi be shishiliza guma inbox nge milaye zenga sile. Umunda shukaka wasani gataga fasanga findeli mkagi. Isilinge sinja nesizila shigiselo kona gentiziye pumi. Po mina ngobe nsuge ganja ni guso. Umangi ngamta totandi weyo wa misestolen. Ingani ngeaktandu gumtanda. Umtande um Afrike zintandel. Gungaze buyu mshaba wokoko. Nimfunezi tombe nizga no gusho njengai. Gisho se gunjalo. Gungapeli minyaga nyaga. Sponsana ngokbalulega gwenjuga koko. Nesbaya njenge nchogo neskandi. Msagaz, lo matonda neng ikbal selang aye. Unkumbuzim pile neng jongo. Kulum shaba, ozok tugis. Mshang gimbo no go kala, luange kufalo, nga pewa nizimbond. Nga tela gwa batale kweni savel. Na nam shangjeng sa guzu, badla magwezin da ben chizweniami, umang him mukang makapel. Is tombe sake en wondwe niami si baze lwen eche lenta bendalus magad. Inga ko gem sagazi, ngusa we nangalum kafas. Galop trigo bako obna tu pechilizano kapas. Ze unchigele il chigayo. Uti guyengi tenje. Segu mpondo zankomo zaslu sele slungwini wema itululu sengpega mankonyani. Aksensu guza chwala sikwa lumkwa kongo mkato bebate. Sfasi findo lenzimbi nge nyongo. Sifezo kwa fungwa imvelo ngati. Msagazi. Amata ngsena wo. Mina sengketi lengketi iwe. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was um, Sabelo Soko, and that was our presentation. This was brought to you in partnership um, with uh, Hear My Voice. So the work that we do at Hear My Voice is important, first and foremost, because of the poets, but it's also important because of these partnerships. So please do check out Hear My Voice, um, hearmyvoice.co.ca, and see what we have happening. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Thank you, hear my voice. Now, no one will leave.